हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टैलेंट ट्रेडर्स माय सेल बाला हियर आई एम वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल एंड दिस वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ वन मोर स्कैनर दैट एग्जैक्टली ऑन फायर वैल्यू कैप्स ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन सम रेफरेंस आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रिएट यू द स्कैनर हियर वी आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड सम फायर वैल्यूज सो इट इज अबाउट अ थ्री कैंडल पैटर्न वी आर एग्जैक्टली लुकिंग फॉर द वैल्यूज गैप बिटवीन दी Uh, previous candle and the current candle and in between one candle so where you can uh, look a uh, fair value uh, between uh, here uh, but some someone who says this is right and someone who says if this is not wrong uh, this is not right uh, something like that here also where you can able to see the fair value so just i mark that level whether if i am right or wrong so but based on some uh, pattern i am just going to create this candle here is the fair value and it is about a 15 minutes i'm not worried about the minutes of that uh, so but here how do we find out the fair value by using a charting scanner and i'm just using a normal conditions here and uh, will i'm going to create a daily basis and here based on uh, this reference i'm going to create you the fair value so here uh, this one is a three candle sequence uh, comparing three candles they are finding out the fair value gap and here four candle basis or four candle sequence they are finding a fair value gap but if you are looking at the comparison of these two images which exactly looks like the same so both it's and this and that is exactly same but uh, where they are mark the fair value is comparing to the previous red candle but uh, you are not calculating a three consecutive gray candle okay so what uh, understand from this the first one should be a red green and uh, green so here we find a fair value gap that should be a valid one so in this video i am just going to create this one and after next videos we'll try to create this and a reversal of that also so because i am just learning about uh, the uh, supply demand kind of things and also the smc concepts so that's why i'm just uh, started making creating a scanner it may be helping you and already we created uh, some scanners like uh, order blocks that was updated on our telegram group so those who are already in the group so you can uh, able to access the scanner now and this is one more scanner regarding the fair value gap and i'm just going to create you in this video and step by step and if you want to create it and you can follow the step and you can access the scanner or you can create the scanners with following the step what i'm going to do here right now and if you want to access the direct link of the scanner it will be available on my premium group soon so if you want access all my premium scanners you can join on my premium group okay so let me start to create i'm just going to create this particular pattern the first one so two red candle and two green candle but it is considering only the three candles okay so let me try with the charting okay the simple conditions where uh, we are going to follow this based on that exact pattern i'm just going to create the scanner i am normally using to create a future and option category and uh, first condition is the color of the candle so that we know close and uh, open comparing with the close and open so we can easily create uh, that particular uh, color candle so today's candle the current day candle so i will be marking that what i'm exactly going to create so let me try the candle one should be a green and the previous uh, one should also be a green and the previous one should be red so this is what a candle which i am going to create okay so what they are finding so here is the gap so maybe the parallel gap between this and that so we are try to find the gap between this two this side and uh, this way so this is what a parallel gap and uh, they are looking for a first candle should be uh, green and previous one is green and previous one is red so let me try with the close must be greater than open that uh, sorry no, it is a close it's a custom indicator which we have created for some other scanners so close greater than open is a simple condition so i just copy uh, sorry i just copy the line again and i want to copy the line again so here one day ago close greater than one day ago open and here uh, two days ago close less than the open so it will be following finding you Uh, simply three red can uh, first two green and previous one is the red so for for example torrent pharma let me check on daily time frame so torrent uh, pharma so exactly you can see the previous one is red uh, second one is green and third one is green but it is about a color of the candle only 
So the second one is Atel uh, and Nakuri. So okay. So this one uh, here is the red. The next one is green, and next one is green. But this candle, uh, it's not about a very bullish or bearish candle. So the red one is a. It looks like a Doji candle. So whether we are going to consider or not, let me try. Try to create uh, this one. Okay. So for example, we have to try for uh, the gap between the previous and uh, current one. Okay. So which we have already created uh, three candles. Now we have to try to create uh, the high. For example, the low of uh, current day candle is must be greater than. It's a simple one. High of uh, one two days ago. So this will tell you par value gap. Only four stocks. Let me check uh, in four each whether it is in par value gap. Yes, is there in a par value gap where you can able to see uh, exactly the par value gap uh, which present there? I'll let you know. So from this and this, here is a some minimum par value gap which is happening. But what uh, we find uh, that one, this low should be greater than and this high should be less than. Okay, but this is the big candle and the second candle should be inside. This is not a, a image where we seen where exactly on the image what we have seen is, uh, I'll show you and the first candle should be green. That would be greater close greater than the previous one. And the second candle also close greater than the previous one. But what happened? Uh, here uh, it is not exactly the same pattern what we are looking for the second candle is the biggest one but the, here the third one it should be closed above to the previous one so that we need to get with the scanners and screeners at this moment we don't get uh, the exact pattern here okay so let me try to create that one so maybe this red is okay and green is okay but this green is not okay so that means the second candle close is must be greater than the high of previous one Okay, so we have to add it that conditions. Okay, so the close of that first candle should be greater than uh, I of the minus one candle. Okay, so this will fetch you, it will be in, removing in 4H. So now Marudi, Kotak, and Jubilee input. Let me check Marudi whether it is forming a such a pattern that we are looking for. So in this case, the gap between uh, this candle and this candle it's very, uh, very, very minimum. So where you can see. Uh, that uh, here the high of the candle is uh, 12,337 and the low of the candle in this case is 60, uh, 360, 12,360 here, uh, 337, only 37 points uh, somewhere around the gaps, uh, very less than 30 points. Okay, so here, uh, but it looks like uh, what we are the pattern which we are looking for, uh, red candle which came down. Okay and uh, second one, but the gap is very minimum. So let me check some other stock, will it just works? And not okay so let me try uh, kotak bank and jubilee and food whether it forming a such a pattern and also we can fix it the candle but yeah exactly so what we are looking here and that would happen in this particular uh, stock so this is what a gap which we are finding uh, based on the scanner uh, what we are looking for so exactly the same pattern uh, the three three consecutive candles only i'm just taking out first would be the red and the second one be the green and third one and you can look at this consecutively it was making uh, higher lows okay so that is also very important uh, here also seem like that higher lows, but that was a condition we are not created so today's low must be greater than the previous one something like that which we can create so the low of today that would be greater than previous one and previous one should be greater than the previous one so low of today uh, greater than uh, low of uh, minus one okay so this will help you find out so next we copy the same and minus one greater than minus two so this will tell you the consecutive uh, higher lows okay so that will fetch you so now three stocks and jubilee and food can we go for jubilee and food what kind of pattern exactly the same pattern which forms here and what we have seen on the image and the three three candle pattern so this is what a fair value cap so I hope you understood. So what we are creating uh, based on the fair value gap and still uh, let me check in the back test report and how it is showing you the data. So maybe we can create a uh, in different uh, way. So even uh, further 
we want to create it but we are simply finding out based on this image so where i exactly finding out the such a pattern and if you want uh, red and green and green and there is a gap between the previous one and also we can adjust the gap it should be one percent two percent something like that we can able to do it let's save the scan as a test and it will be shared in the group and let me check previously uh, the sum of the stocks i think many stocks with key uh, let me try so maybe here let's say randomly we can check it second uh, september chamber fertilizer gnfc let me check chamber fertilizer whether it is retraced or not second uh, september right sorry second september yeah right second september where it is in exactly second september here here is then uh, that one so from that point exactly the pattern which you have seen on the image that was here one candle rate and the second candle rate and third and third that was closing about to be high and this is what uh we're exactly trying to create here and there is a fair value here whether i'm going to check how to use the fair value i'm not going to discuss here but there is a fair value gap which is present there so how to identify so we can increase that gap also that let that we will do with another session so on the day and uh, ultra tech cement and gnfc the same day gnfc uh, second here is the second second september and uh, ultra tech we will try to create that was happening in the lower level this is an ultra tech but in this case this was uh, acting good uh, level okay so maybe it tested and it bounces back so i'm not going to discuss, uh, discuss about uh, uh, how to trade it but i'm just creating as a scanner whether it is going to work or not so based on this image what we are looking at so same like that we can able to create a scanner or not that is what i'm just doing with this video so i'm not going to teach you how to trade with fair value gaps in this video okay so three candle sequence one red and uh, green and there is a big bullish candle the same pattern which you are finding here also the exact pattern which you are finding as per this same image so that was filtering out the stocks which is generating you such a good uh, thing so where we finding out even if you want to filter out uh, any other things so we have already fixed and the high should be greater than three highs that is also we fixed red and green and two greens one red and previous candle also red that would be working good okay so let me check some other uh, examples Uh, I think but uh, many stocks came there but it is not a suitable one so we need to fix it uh, XI Lara slab and 22nd 8 XI 22nd there is one there is a red and one two there is a gap but next day after that it was keep on moving lower but uh, but it forming a fair value okay so previously there is also be a fair value and this time there is also be a fair value okay that exactly what we are looking that was the same based on the image in the some stocks x side x side which we've seen and titan that works well and uh, 20 second this is what a uh, gap okay from this area some of them are working and some of them are working but i am not discussing about how to trade it but exactly what the pattern which you are looking for sometimes we can uh, look for if that should be happen at a lowest level that would be a better chances so three candle ago we are looking for that is the lowest level right so if any formation something like that it would be better so three candle ago low uh, low of three candles ago it equals to you know, Today's low. If we fetch it, this it will show you very few number of stocks. So, 12th August, we have a Manapuram. So, let me check what is happening. Manapuram, maybe it is happening at lowest level, and that I'm just checking. 12th August, 1, 2, 3, 12th August. Yeah, here is the 12th August. So, it is happening uh, three candles ago. Low. Okay. Sorry, we need to change here. The low equal to 
equal to daily minimum minus three days. Here, man, for matching, I think this one. Let me check this. Manapram on tall eight. See it came tall eight. So uh, some other stock. Bata. Bata India. So one, two, three, nineteenth August. 19.8 that's right it is uh, it is happening at the lowest level and it is a very minimum gap so after the downtrend we are trying to find and will it is works or not and Tata Steel this one 1 2 3 19th August this would be the lowest level and this point uh, we have the gap but the second one it is not closed above to the level and UBL but it was this the idea to finding out UPL one two three. This is what a uh, thing which I'm just completely move, moving down, and this was working looks good. Uh, for example, so here is the gap which we are finding compared to this three candle, and after the downtrend we find it. Maybe if you want to use that uh, thing, so you can use it, or else you should ignore. But the main logic where I just exactly try to find out the pattern which I want to uh, find out with this in image. So now we have successfully completed our uh this kind of pattern so but many stocks but we, we need to add uh, some more filters if you have any idea you can share with me so we can add it on the scanner itself so i'll try to take on 19th uh, 29 so a lot of stocks which forming recently you can look at the sale on 39 so but it was working based on the our concept 39 1 2 3 13 so that is a formation of that so even we can modify even better result if you have any ideas and logics you can share with me thank you so much and thanks for watching and if you have any questions or a doubt just comment on the comment box if you want to join my telegram group so that whatsapp me and the number shown on this video and thank you for subscribing kindly support the channel thank you so much